Hello and welcome to another update of Coco Loco. Last week I was able to do a stream of Coco Loco, which was really fun, able to hang out and chat with some of you there. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing those very frequently, but make sure to hit that bell button so next time I do go live, you're notified. During the stream, I worked on the little hot chocolate mug. I simplified it a bit more and also changed the texture since it was quite a high res texture for a very small asset. And I also added back in the foam art. I'm planning to add back steam to the cup as well, and I got some really good inspiration from one of Kenny's post on Twitter. If you don't follow Kenny or know about him, then you should check him out. He does some amazing free open source game assets. It's amazing. I'm going to use some of his work in this project. After that, I modeled this bookshelf, which, you know, is quite basic, but I think I did a standard unwrap for it and chat seemed to like it. So thank you all for the support. Aside from that this week, I also worked on the interactions with the player and objects. I was planning to work with raycasts with interacting with objects, but considering I don't want the player to have to use pin point position, I decided to use triggers and colliders. And a quick Google search online comparing raycasts and colliders and triggers showed that triggers are better for more performant games and I want this game to run pretty smoothly. And as well, raycasts, ugh, raycasts, I mean, I, they have their time and place, but they've just been very frustrating to me. So for now, we're using colliders and triggers. And by tagging these mugs as an item, which I'm going to have as the tag for any item that can be collected, when the player's trigger interacts with any game object or collider with the item tag, it destroys destroys it. Next I'm planning to manage how the player carries objects, but for now, that's all I've got. I hope everyone watching has a wonderful break, and I'll see you next time.